is Donna from Embroider Me. And I don't know if any of you know me or not, but I'm a professional embroiderer. I do vinyl. I have a cutting machine. I have a DTG or direct to garment printer. And I recently have become interested in bro the Brother product, the Scan and Cut. This is the new one, the SDX225. Um, I decided to buy it because it's the end of 2018 and they're having a really nice uh, deal. Um, the, the machine itself was on sale and if you bought it, you got um, the roller feed attachment uh, included. So that was really, really good. So um, what I wanted to do, because I have not seen this on um, the internet or YouTube or any place, I want to do an unboxing of this product. So um, stick with me and I'm going to show you what comes in the box. Let's do it. Okay, so you can see that I changed position a little bit because I wanted you to be able to see the things when I take them out of the box. So I flipped it around. I'm also going to put on my glasses because it is very good to see what you are doing. Okay, so the box opens pretty easily. I do have to say I bought this from a local um, brother dealer. I live in New Jersey. Oh, there's a piece of tape here. I need my scissors. Um, and they were very helpful, did demos and things, you know. So that was, that was very nice. And they even offer a free class that I will be taking in two weeks to uh, familiarize myself with the product. So, okay, so here, when you open the box, um, it has... Uh, things packed in cardboard and styrofoam. And there's a piece on the top that you lift out and there's a getting started guide. There's a getting started guide uh, that's in there. And I believe, which I did see on the internet, there is um, a practice project you can do. So there's the little booklet that comes with it. Underneath that, this is just a piece of cardboard, so we're gonna get rid of that. Underneath that there is uh, the regular packet like you get if you own Brother products, you'll know about it. You open it up, and what's in it? There is the quick reference guide. There is the quick reference guide in Spanish. There may be other languages, I'm not positive. I'm not gonna go through that. And there is an actual, well, this is the included accessories. And there's an actual product safety guide book. Now, I thought there was also um, a direction uh, manual, but I don't know about that. Maybe it's in here. Not sure on that. This is just a product safety guide. And we'll see if there's a another uh, instruction booklet inside here. I know you can download it on the internet. I have done that already. Um, although it's, I believe, 105 pages, so I did not print it. Okay, from the back of the box, I just took out uh, what looks like two uh, mats for the machine. And they are wrapped... I'm going to open this and see if it says which ones they are. I did not read the list ahead of time. Well, I did, but I couldn't tell you what was on it. Okay, this is the standard tack adhesive mat. It says that right down here. Okay, standard tack adhesive mat, so you know where to look for it. And these mats are purple with a black border. Um, I believe there are other... Uh, products have different colored mats, probably for uh, ease of recognition. Um, I do see the other mat is a different color, so maybe I'm wrong on that. But anyway, so what else? There's some other things in here. There's a few instruction sheets, uh, precautions to take, the, something about the cutting mat, and this is just more instructions. And if we, I believe this, um, let's see, there is possibly a protective sheet or something. I'll have to check the directions for that, but it's, it's green. Okay, that's in with that mat. And there is also a piece of cardstock, which I think is for that initial project that they give you directions for. All right, so let's put this stuff aside and let's open the other mat. Well, the other mat only has the precaution guide in it, but of course I can't see what kind of mat it is. So let me take my scissors and open that. that out and this is the low tack adhesive mat okay that's turquoise on the bottom with um, the black border so that's that now there's a box in here along the edge let's see what that is open that up and this is the power cord very important can't run the machine without the power cord 
Okay, so that's that's there. Um, now I have to try to get this out. And oh, no, foam, oh foam, foam lifts straight out. So that was pretty easy. And let me just pull the machine out. Up, oh, bag came right off. So that was that was probably good. And now I'm going to try to. Up, oh, machine lifted right out. That was good. And also in the box, um, there is a roll of something which I will have to open and see. All right, so I'm going to just move this box out of the way and then we'll get back to it. Okay, so here we are zoomed in on the machine so you can see me actually open the machine. Uh, before we do that, I just want to uh, go over those two things that I wasn't sure what they were. I looked at them. The uh, product that was rolled up like this is the iron-on fabric um, support or contact sheet. So that's what it's kind of, it looks like contact paper sort of, but I believe it's just obviously an adhesive and you have to iron it on. And the other thing that, um, the green item, I believe that's the high-tac uh, hold-down sheet for fabric. Uh, I will be looking at the directions later and probably there will be another video. And so we'll really figure out how to use this. But for now, we're just doing an unboxing and seeing what really comes with the machine because doesn't everybody really want to know that? Okay, so here's the machine, and it's, you know, nice size, uh, fairly meaty. Uh, I think that's good. I have to say I come from the professional side of, of this industry. I'm a professional embroiderer, and I own a, a professional cutter that cuts up to 24 inches, um, and, and it's always a, a roller feed um, product. So um, this is very interesting to me for different reasons, and that's, that's why I purchased it, and also because I really want to be able to show people uh, what it is and what it does. So, when you open it, um, there's a little peel up thing here and from uh, some other things online, I have you know observed that there are storage areas here in the front of the machine underneath the bed. And if you look, there are some of those products in there. So let's take a look at what they are. So now I'm gonna open up these pouches and packages and let's see what we got with the, with this machine. Let's see, in the little white package that was in facing the machine, the right hand storage compartment, just gonna put that down. Oh, there is the stylus or pick tool, that's not really a pick tool, it's a stylus to use on the screen, which I understand is uh, a very large screen. And right now you can see it's covered by a piece of cardboard that's just wedged in there. So I'm not going to take that off yet. So there's the stylus that you use on the screen. We have oh, a pl oh, sorry about that a plastic spatula that I know is used for scraping up the design sometimes off the mat for removal. I guess I shouldn't say scraping, but removing or or removing the weeded pieces. Uh, the pieces weeded would be the pieces that you want to take away and not keep. All right, there's a Ziploc bag here that has two holders in it. One is gold and one is black. And it does not say on them what they are. So we're going to have to see um, what they are in the directions. But on opening it, we just don't know. There is a little sheet here that says warning. So let's see what they're warning us about. Uh, please remove the protective cap from the, their blade holders. Um, and when placing it into the machine, okay, just a little warning there about that. Now on the other side, the larger compartment, scotch taped in, is another Ziploc bag. Oh, getting stuck to the machine. And there are colored pens, so I'm going to, oh, nope. In this bag, there is a pen holder. And there are uh, one, two, six colored pens that you can put in there. Um, looks like brown, pink, green, blue, red, and black. Um, I do know, oh, and there's, wait, there's another one hiding underneath here. And there's turquoise and purple as well in yet another bag. I do know from uh, doing some research on the machine, there is a universal uh, pen holder that will hold, um, I believe, Sharpies and other pens like that, or pen of your choice, marker of your choice, probably not too thick. I don't think it'd hold a real old-fashioned design marker. Um, but maybe... Uh, and you can purchase that for a separate fee. So, okay, so now we're gonna close these compartments. And a lot of people, not having, again, worked with any of these machines, um, they say that things like this storage area here, a uh, huge improvement over some of the older machines. And also that this machine is bigger. Let's put this 
back yet? Close that. All right, and there's one more package in here, or piece of cardboard. It's taped in. Although, maybe it's not um, a package. Maybe it's just protecting it. So it's like, yep, and that's what I think it is. It is just protecting um, the drivers for the machine there. So that's what that is. And in a minute, I'm going to open my bonus piece, the uh, roller, the roller feeder. Okay, so here we are. This is how the uh, roll feeder bundle came. And I, as I said, this was an added bonus uh, since I bought it. They were running a special at the end of uh, 2018. Um, so th this is like a, supposedly a $100 product. So let's see what comes in this box. Not as pretty a box as the other one, but does it need to be? No. So let me take my scissors and open this. Well, it, does, it does have a picture on it that identifies what it is. Oh, that's because it was shipped directly. When you open it, this is why it's a bundle. Let me get the box out of the way. The bundle part of this product is that they give you a roll of um, black vinyl to work with, play with, you know, so to get you started. So at least they give you something, you know, you, if you bought this, if you had bought this, you might say, oh, I forgot to buy the vinyl. So at least they give you something to start with. Just like with the um, main machine, they gave you some paper and a project, I believe, um, to get you started. He kickstarts you, so to speak. And I do believe that the machine um, does talk you through that. But anyway, um, so, Okay, that's the bundle. The bundle is the actual roller and a roll of a 12 inch by six foot inch roll of uh, vinyl. The vinyl, um, the, the, with the roller, it will cut supposedly up to about six feet. So that's another nice product. You see here um, on the box, they cut these flowers so you can um, uh, give it a try, give it a whirl. So let's open this and see what's in here. I'm having a hard time getting it over because Donna, you should know better. It's taped. So how to use my scissors there. It's kind of nice that it's in this box because if you wanted to put it away, you could uh, store it in that box if you don't mangle it like I do. Okay, so there's the box. We'll just push that out of the way. So it comes wrapped in plastic like, like most things. Taped shut. And this is what the uh, roll feeder looks like. I'm sure these flip up. That looks like where you put the um, the product, the roller. Uh, I'm not going to work on this now, but um, this is what it is. It attaches to the machine in some way, and uh, maybe I put no, it's taped together. Oh, I see. There's two pieces. It's only taped together. I don't know if it actually folds or not. Uh, this attaches somewhere. Again, not having read the directions, but I'm not going to do it. But it does attach to itself somewhere. Please flip up. That's the uh, where you put the product. So this attaches to that, and you're able to use rollers. Hopefully in the future, I will make some uh, videos using it. Okay, so I want to add one little note about the... Um, blade holders that I discussed. I did look them up on the included accessory sheet and the black one is the, uh, I want to say universal, but it's not universal. The uh, um, auto blade holder, excuse me. This is the regular auto blade holder and it does have the blade installed. The one that I called gold, they're, they refer to as beige on the sheet. Oh, and this is the, I want to say it right, the thin fabric auto blade holder and it comes with the blade installed. I also noticed on the sheet that the um, pen holder, the colored ones, uh, the, the six pack, they are regular pens and it looks like the blue and the purple ones are um, the erasable pens or uh, pens that uh, either dissolve or go away, you'd have to read the directions, I'm not sure which, which is very useful for uh, sewing projects and a lot of quilters use pens like that. Um, so that, that's good to know what they are. I'm sure when I read the directions or watch a, if there's a video, I'll learn much more about it. But um, I just, the whole purpose of this was just to unbox the machine. As far as I saw, I couldn't find a video on, on YouTube that unboxed and told you what came in the box because I really wanted to know what I got and what I might need to get. 
in the future or right then. I did not buy any extra products though. I constrained myself. So I might be buying some of those. Uh, this also does have a mat that goes up to 24 inches, I believe. So that's, that's a nice big cutting field as well. If you don't have the uh, roller feed uh, or roll feed feeder bundle. Uh, so this is Donna from Embroider Me unboxing the Innovis, uh, and I, sorry, the Innovis uh, Scan and Cut SDX225. Um, if you bought one or you're considering one, good luck. I'm wishing myself luck too. Um, I, I don't think it's going to be that hard to learn. Um, but maybe I'll make some more videos and we can learn together. So again, this is Donna from Embroider Me and the, our Etsy store, Raven and Flamingo, uh, saying goodbye and good luck with all your creative endeavors. Bye-bye.